October 2nd, 2021, Georgia police officers respond to a call about a woman who flashed a gun at two other women as they walked in the parking lot of a Best Buy. The officers arrive and quickly begin their search for the suspect, who is reportedly just casually shopping. What starts out as a calm investigation spirals down into a pit of lies and total irresponsibility. You can't make this stuff up. Yeah, she's in the store, but I didn't want to go in there without you. So she hasn't left because the car's still hers. Yeah. Hey, have you seen a black female with a tan hat and red pants? All right, thanks for help, Jill. Hello, you see anybody inside? Everything okay? Well, I think we all black and sure red pants can hang. You said red pants? Yeah. Yes. Hey, let's see if you can see anybody with red pants. Hey, anybody see me? Uh, if y'all see her, don't don't say anything. Just give us a call. Just tell us that where she's at. Don't make any contact with her. She's armed. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. You don't happen to have a gun in your bag, do you? No, sir. Okay. You mind if I look real quick? In my purse? Mm-hmm. No. I said there's a black female with a red pant, red pants that had a gun. Not a gun. I just come in here. Okay. I understand that. What yeah, car do you drive? You're not, you're not allowed what car do you drive? You're not allowed to What car do you drive? I drive a white BMW. White BMW. Okay. You keep eyes here. What's she wearing? What's she wearing? Okay. 1365 Spiral. What is she wearing again? Black female wearing a tan hat, I believe a black shirt and red shorts. Hey, ma'am, I need you to stand right here for right now. Okay. Something happened outside in the parking lot. In the parking You're lot? You're describing your clothing. Oh, no, no, no he's, he's, he's already talking. Yeah, talking to hey, me. I understand that. Yeah, I need you to stand to right here. Just stand right here. She's wearing a tan hat and red shorts. Show me anybody else in this whole building that's wearing a tan hat and red shorts. I don't shorts. have on a tan hat. I have on a black and white hat. When people are in traumatic situations, they don't always describe it perfectly. Did one just hold me up, but I haven't done anything. I just came in. That's, why, that's why you're not in handcuffs, because I don't, I don't know that you've done anything either. I just know that something just happened out there, and they said that the person walked into Best Buy. They described him as a black female mm -hmm. wearing a tan hat and red shorts. Yes, sir. You were the, you were the closest person to fit that description. Yeah, that's and that's why I'm just saying, just for the time being, just stand right here. We're about to go back outside and talk to you. I'm about to make me use the bathroom by myself. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a diabetic. I, I don't mean to frighten you, so I yeah, apologize. I'm a diabetic, so and I'm about to poop on myself. Although the suspect is about to soil her underwear, given the nature of the investigation, it is highly unlikely that the officers will allow her to leave their site. The suspect will have to try to come up with something a bit better than having to use the bathroom. Okay, well, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't mean to startle you. Yeah, I just That's I why I wanted to explain what's going on. Basically, somebody just pointed a gun at somebody in the parking lot. The other person who got the gun pointed, she's standing up there. Okay. And she said... The, per the lady who pointed a gun at me is a black female wearing red shorts and a tan hat. No, baby. Okay, so you just want to walk up here to the front and I'll figure out if it was you. If not, I'll let yeah, you go. Let me so. use the restroom because I'm about to poop. Well, I can't let you go in there. Oh, wow. I just explain the situation, so I just need you to walk up here to the front. If I can determine it's not you, then just walk up here to the front. Hey, where's the victim at? Okay. Well, we're going to walk outside. She's going to tell me if it's her. Will you just walk right out the front door? Walk out the front door. Yes, ma'am. If you want, I know you haven't paid for those. You're going to put them down. Ma'am, right over here. 
Is there? That's what we heard. She's in that little car. Yep. The gun is probably in the car. Yeah, for They're saying that's her. Somebody walked in front of me. Okay. I never had an encounter with anybody. Okay, so did you have yeah. did you have a weapon on you by any chance or anything? No, sir. Or anything? No, I don't okay. have anything. Okay. Do you have a firearm in your purse? No, sir. Do you mind if this officer looks inside your purse? I don't want them looking in my purse when there's okay. no reason to look in my purse. Well. The officer asks the suspect if he can search her purse, as the Fourth Amendment protects against the unreasonable search of an individual's property, including bags and purses. However, should the officer believe that the suspect is armed or poses danger to herself or others, then consent can be bypassed. I know the reason, my rights. I get you. That's fine. That's fine. We're not yeah, arguing. Yeah, but y'all know my okay. rights. Okay. Well, at this point, you're in an investigatory hold right now. What's that? Right? It means you're basically being detained. So you're not free to leave. And I'm, I'm taking, detained? I'm removing this purse from you. I'm, being I'm not looking in it. Relax, relax. And relax, you're relax, being investigated. I'm being detained. Just, just I'm like removing say, this purse just from like you. Just like you know your rights, we're giving you the you. right to tell you what we're And I'm going to talk to you. I'm taking the purse. I'm removing the purse from you. We're I'm not just removing your purse. I'm like, not, do not I'm reach not in your purse. purse. You just reached in your purse. I, just, I got the arm. No, don't reach in your purse. That's it. 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 Calm down. Hey, you put it in front of my body. Okay, you're being detained until we figure out anything further. Because somebody said. That's me. Put it at me, and I didn't do anything. That's not damn it. So she pointed at you? Yes, sir. She called me a bitch. Okay. She called me a bitch, but I didn't argue with her. I was driving on through. Where's your white BMW? Is it this third car on the right right here? I can't get that damn thing to let go. There we go. I agree. It is now evident to the officers that the suspect has lied to them and apparently has something to hide, as her story about not arguing with anyone has switched up real fast. The truth is starting to surface, and the suspect is panicking. So listen, the best thing to do is just listen and follow instructions, and then everything goes okay, right? Because if somebody claims something outrageous and they're the one who's causing the problem, we don't know that until we get here and find out, right? Yes, sir. So just let us find out and then we'll be good to go from there. I'm not arguing with anybody. No, I'm not saying that you're arguing with us. We're just going to have a seat in his car until we get everything figured out, okay? You're not going to jail or anything right now until we figure out a little bit further, but you are being detained because you matched the description we were doing, okay? Uh, can you describe what the gun looked like? It was uh, probably about this big, black. Black? And she did like this. Did it look like a revolver or like a, a normal modern type pistol, like a semi-automatic type pistol? It was like a thick, revolver. it was one of the thick ones, I'm not sure. Did it look like similar to what police carry? Or did it look like, yeah, like a smaller than that, yeah. So I'm going to take a peek here, because this is a, allegedly hers, right? The one that they said was a red sign, or the one he was out with, right? A red vehicle of some sort. But she said white BMW. You see a white BMW anywhere? And y'all were walking across the street. We had already walked across the street. We already had walked across. I guess she was thought y'all were in her way. It seemed like she didn't want to stop okay. while we were walking to get to the Chinese place. Yeah, right here. She stopped the car. If she stopped it and said, did you call me a bitch? I said, yes, I did. And she said, well, you the one that bitch in this man. I said, I'm a good one, and I walked, we walked on in. And the girl did like this. She was waving I it. I saw the waved gun. The gun yeah. At any point, did she point it towards you? She, she waved it like... Like, waved it towards Yeah, like this. Towards Just it. letting us know that she had the gun, yeah. So, right now, you're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction, okay? That means you didn't follow lawful commands, and we're telling you not to tense up, not to go in your purse, not to pull away. You lied about the vehicle you were in originally. You lied about being in an altercation with somebody outside originally. So we've got a bunch of false statements and obstruction. I so, fourteen oh seven one ten fifteen. I wasn't pulling away from you guys. Like I explained earlier, okay. I didn't pull. Okay. 
And then when you were told not to reach in your purse, you immediately tried to reach in your purse. No, no, I was trying to drop, look, I was trying to drop my keys and tell y'all that I had rights. It was not reaching in my purse to get anything. Okay. I was dropping the keys in there. I didn't do it. Before we keep I talking, let me explain that. these to you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and you understand each of these rights as I've explained them to you. I understand, but I will. Can I call somebody? I don't Not at this second. Say. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? I know you've already started explaining the situation, but... Yeah, I don't have... I don't have anything. Will you give me consent to search your car? To search the car? Uh-huh. Hmm. That's his car. So? My son's car. What does that have to do with anything? This is his car. Okay. It's, it's up to you, yes or no? No, I just want to tell him to come and get his car. Okay. Is that cool. okay? Well, we'll have to deal with that later, and in the meantime, if the business wants it towed from that spot because you're in a curbside pickup, then they can tow it. Come with me. We'll go back right to my car. Well, let me um, leave my stuff there so he can get it. What stuff? So he can get... Get what? My, get my money and, and my stuff. This is all going with you because it is your property? And I have to my search. I have to search it before we go. My sister's property. Okay, we're not playing that game. So what are you doing? Right now, you're going to sit in the back of my car, so I can transport you when we're ready to do that. Why? Because you're going to jail because you're under arrest. So we very quickly tried to say that this is her sister's property and purse. Now that the suspect is officially under arrest, the officers can perform a full search of her pockets, personal items, and car. Oh, look. A Glock. Make it, sir. Make it, sir. Fourteen oh seven. Check a serial on a sixty nine. Wow, that's an exacto knife. That would have sucked to get cut by. Actually, probably would have been a lot nicer than some rusty dull blade. <laughs> Hannah Montana. Well, there's keys to the scion. She has keys to the scion. It's her son's scion. Do you think he really likes Hannah Montana? think we're full of it. Okay. So do we want to be truthful yet? What do you mean do I want to be truthful? Well, the gun is in your purse. Uh, and Patricia's not your name. So now you're getting false statement and aggravated assault charges. Aggravated assault on Yes, ma'am. And then there's... Well, the camera over there and see that I aggravated assault her. Okay. God bless it. The woman was later charged with aggravated assault, possession of a firearm by a felon, and obstruction. What do you think of this arrest and the charges? Do they fit the crime? Be sure to comment your thoughts and for more true crime related content, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next one.